An action has three parts, the preparation of that action, the action itself and the conclusion or the termination of that action. The first one which is the preparation of the action is called anticipation. Prepare the audience for a big action. You don't want to be abrupt with your animation. Okay, uh, like in this example, uh, the coyote is uh, hell bent on uh, catching the roadrunner and we see the anticipation uh, of his before him catching and we uh, it, it is kind of a suspense that you're building up. It is kind of a uh, you know anticipation you're building up in the audience's uh, eyes that uh, coyote is going to catch the uh, roadrunner but when he doesn't that's where the joke comes in Be because if we skip this part if we skip the anticipation part there is uh, uh, nothing for the audience to look forward to to prepare to this is also to help the believability of the action like before throwing a ball you have to take that anticipation and uh, then uh, that pose will be registered in our mind that yes the, that character is going to throw that ball and if, if the character is just standing with a ball and suddenly uh, throws we are not prepared and it's too abrupt for us to understand. Like in this example, Donald is preparing to run, so now we know that he's going to dash off the screen. But if the uh, if he's just standing in the screen and suddenly dashes off, we are not prepared, and we might even miss that action of him dashing off, and we will not know, we will not understand because it will be too fast. Anticipation has to be considered everywhere. Like uh, when you're blowing a candle, you have to breathe in first, anticipate big time, and then blow the candles off. Uh, okay, it's it's just very natural that we sometimes might ignore that that principle is there. Like in this example, he's anticipating to hammer down, and then there is the action, and then it uh, there might be a reaction to it as well. It is also some subtle animations like uh, Mowgli here folding his legs, but before he, he does that, he's anticipating. Uh, to make that action very clear and to uh, make it read uh, properly. Here is another action that uh, the momentum, the potential energy has to be uh, created before you convert it into kinetic energy. You have to uh, take that effort of uh, anticipating before a jump so that you get that push, push off, you know, even if it's a throw of a ball, a jump or any action that you do. In motion graphics, you can simply have this on any uh, kind of object animation to make it more believable and give it more character to it. Uh, like uh, in the normal example below, you can see that the cube is uh, moving from point A to point B. Uh, but it, that might be enough. But when you add a little bit of anticipation to the uh, action, uh, you already get more of a character to it. The cube now has more personality and um, more of a story to it. By using this principle, uh, you'll be able to uh, prepare the audience for uh, especially uh, big actions that is happening on the screen so that your animation is not too abrupt and uh, the audience relates to it, understands it much better.